In this video, I'll show you how to provide your own context when working within the dev assistance of Agent Force for developers. Now, providing additional context to the assistant leads to more precise and relevant responses. Here I'm working on a trigger that's written by another developer. I'm trying to understand the logic that's written. Now, a typical workflow is to open the dev assistant and ask it to explain. We see that the agent thinks and responds with the explanation. But if you carefully review the explanation, it lacks the complete business logic explanation. Now, this is because the dev assistant by default uses only files that are open in this editor as the context, as you can see. Now, also if I ask it to enhance with further logic, you will see that the assistant comes up with the logic, but the files to which the assistant adds this logic might not be correct because it definitely lacks the context of all the files that exist in my project. So in this case, as you can see, the additional code is added to the opportunity domain class. But if you really dig into the domain class, it actually has a service class and we wanted this to be added to the service class and not the domain class. Now this is where the user specified context feature helps. With user specified context, we can simply click on that add symbol where it says add context and add the entire file as the context. In this case, we just added the opportunity domain and the service class. Another way to add context is by navigating to the class. Here in this case, we navigate to the opportunity service class and select the business config selector class and click to bring this agent force menu and select the agent force add file as context. Next, we also want to add that account selector class. So again, we'll go back to that opportunity service class and find that account selector class here. So click on that. And again, we will click to bring that agent force. And remember you can add the context as method or selected lines, or in this case, we just added the entire file. So let's go ahead and finally also add this entire opportunity trigger as context. All right, so now that we have everything here, let's ask the assistant to explain this entire logic that we have. So again, the agent thinks, and this time it responds with a much better description. And now that we have the full context that the agent knows about this trigger and the dependent classes, we can ask the agent to explain what this trigger does logically step by step. So I just prompt the agent to explain all the details step by step. I can see that the agent actually thinks and this time it generates the entire logical flow that's happening within the triggers and why we have all these classes and how all these classes orchestrate together to accomplish that functionality. So you get pretty much the functional explanation of your code by providing more context to the assistant. And this time, if I ask the assistant to enhance the logic, you will see that the responses are much better and the code that is added by the agent goes to the appropriate files. So in this case, you can see that the entire logic was added in the service class rather than my domain class. In summary, the user specified context feature is very useful when working with understanding of code that's deeply nested and has abstractions as it allows you to provide your own context. Note that you can include classes, LWCs, and metadata that you have in your project file as context so that the responses are much better. Now to learn more about this feature and how we prioritize different context options when we create the prompt, check out video descriptions for the official documentation link. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe to Salesforce Developers YouTube channel.